What's up everybody, George from Retro GT, and today we have a new video. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail, I'm doing the interior LED lights. I'm doing all of them in here from the dome up top to the back dome to the rear domes. Got the LED bulbs today, ordered some T10s is what you need for in here. I like doing the white, the bright white, you know, like everything else. Um, so yeah, that's what the plan is today very easy should be fun just a couple different things that uh, you'd have to I'd have to show you if you've never done it before and some little tips that's gonna help you out so hopefully we don't break anything and let me show you everything we're gonna need today pretty simple straightforward I'm gonna use some panel removing tools to get to where we need just got a bundle of them I ordered these some time ago and they've been put to good use I also have a small screwdriver for in case I need it I'm hoping not to use it I'd rather use those and obviously the LED lights. I bought a pack of 10, came in a pack of 10, from Mars Auto. It's some LED lighting, and we'll uh, open it up and I'll show you here in a bit. We're gonna be replacing those two back under here, opposite end, and in the rear on the two ends over there. These guys right here, we're gonna change out. So you can see that's that ugly yellow looking crap hideous looking Subaru Baja looking thing anyways let's get rid of that now to get started I'm gonna go through my uh, torture tools and pick my favorite one no no actually this might not be bad let's try this guy out all right so we will actually want to start from up here work our way around so even though the lights are right there we can't really get to them without removing this. I'm gonna try to get up in here, or right up in its business and see if I can, there we go. Yeah, let's see if I don't break anything. I shouldn't have any problems. That doesn't look like it wants to come off though. There we go, there we go, yeah. There we go, show who's boss. There we go, yeah. All right, so yep, you wanna get it from the side angle here and just kinda give it that twist to twist, you know? I'm gonna be careful not to break anything. Last thing you wanna do is break some stuff, but we got that one down, see if we can get this one. It should be attached to a couple clips. I think there's four total. There's the other one. There we go, yeah. There we go. Now, I promise you those clickings and poppings is not a bad thing, they're not breaking. At least we're hoping it's not. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down and do this and I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, enough huffing and puffing, the thing finally came out. So it sucks to try to take off, by the way. And uh, another reason why I have a screwdriver is, oh my gosh, it's so dark. Okay, these little tabs, metal tabs right there, they like to bend, that one kind of bends outwards. So with the screwdriver, I'm gonna just push it back in, kind of try to show you. Well, it's better than what it was. It should work out. So afterwards, what we're gonna do, because we wanna access the lights back here, we're gonna unplug these connectors and uh, try to remove this whole piece so it's not dangling here. Let me get to that in a second. It should be pretty straightforward and easy. Finally got it unplugged, I have it on my lap. So there's a couple tabs here and here, and on the back side, see these actually kind of move. So what we're gonna do is flop these two back and this whole black piece should just come out. There you go, just did it with one hand. Boom, that easy. And once you flip it over, you'll expose the bulbs. That's your bulbs, you just pinch them and just pull them out. These are your bulbs. I went ahead and opened up my new set of LED bulbs. Because they're LEDs, you really don't want to just touch them with your own, you know, with your bare hands and fingers. You can burn them out with your finger oils. I got this rag right next to me. I'm going to grab it. Should have grabbed, I should have gotten some gloves, but this might be a little extreme, but at the same time, you know, I'm playing it safe. We're going to go ahead and just drop her in. And you can't really mess them up. It, it goes in one way. Boom, just like that. This one, I can use my bare fingers because I'm an animal. 
pull that guy out. We'll grab one of the new ones. Put it on my special rag. That rag is so clean. Expose the butt. And then just put that one in. Okay. Now we have those on. Let's pray to God it all worked out. Put it back to the way it was. Insert these first. This goes down and in. It should just click back into place. Perfect. All right, it's all plugged in. Before we put it away, let's go ahead and try it out. Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty dope. That is definitely bright. Yeah, you can see the LEDs working there. And the other one, oh yeah. These are gonna be super bright. So there is a bit of afterburn, but that doesn't hurt anything. It won't damage, you won't lose battery to your vehicle. It'll work, it's fine. I have quite a bit of LEDs throughout the car, so I have yet to have any battery power issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back on and uh, let's move on to the other pieces. So I did have a little misfortune uh, when I, probably when I pulled this guy off, this broke off, so that's nice. But I'm just gonna super glue the crap out of it and hopefully it'll stick. I mean, I don't ever see myself pulling this back down for any reason, so as long as I don't have a nasty gap up there, that's fine with me. So I'm just gonna leave it down like it is so I can get some super glue and I'm gonna move on to the next section. Moving on to the back side of the car. You see, these are already on. It's got that ugly crap yellow again. And the same goes to the other side. So these are actually a lot easier to take off. So let me show you. So you wanna grab your panel removing tool and you wanna grab it from the end here and pry it towards you. It should come straight out just like so. With your same panel removing tool or the screwdriver, whatever works, we gotta unclip the wiring housing there. Let's see if I can get it with one hand. Should be able to click on it and then push away from it. There you go. So the way this works is you push that down and it opens up and then it'll expose the bulb. Like a lighter. Yeah, think of it as like a Zippo lighter. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this guy, pull it off. Once again, I'll switch it with one of these new ones. Actually, see if I can pull this off. Without touching it. I think I can make, make this work. Perfect, sweet. Shut off, close that, plug her back in. Oop, there she blows, heck yeah. That's gonna look sick too. And then once again, just slide it to the left, push it into place. Perfect, same thing goes on the other side. There's no need of showing you how to do it. It's exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, now we're in the back seat. These are your dome interior lights on each side. One over here, one over here. These are a little more trickier to get to, but I'm gonna try my best to try to show you. Uh, let me get properly set up because this is gonna be a little tricky. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, I think I got it all set up. So this is interesting the way we got to do it. So on each side here and here, see if I can show you this, there is a little opening. You can kind of see it right there, right there, that little opening. And you can kind of see it right there. So those openings are where you want to put your either screwdriver or panel removing tool and kind of start to wedge this open. See, it starts to open up a little bit and just kind of, there you go pop it off a little bit. Same thing will go on this side. Wedge it, twist, twist, twist. Get it to pop out all around. There you go. So now that you had them popped off, I recommend you use both your hands. Oops. I recommend you use both hands and you pop one side. You hear that click. 
here you go see it came out same thing on this side there we go so now that it's off we're gonna just simply remove this with a little clip push that in pull out super easy and uh, let me bring the camera down we'll show you how to actually get to the light all right, I had to step out. It was just way too uncomfortable in there to try to explain it. So let's take a look at this. So you can kind of see, if it focuses, similar to what we had up front, we have these two where it connects there and we have two here. With your pan removing tool, and my thumb, I'm gonna push this forward, there we go. So lift it up here with your thumb, push it forward, and then you should be able to get the other side. There we go, came right out. So now we're gonna focus on this piece. This is a lot easier. With your tool, just grab it on this end, just simply pry on it on this side and it'll pop right off. Same thing on the other side, till it comes off. And there's your bulb that we're gonna replace. This is a little trickier, I got fat fingers, so what I would do, take your tool and just push on it from the back side straightforward and it'll pop right out just like that let me get these LEDs we're just gonna grab one of them put it into the, the slot push right in and that's it simple as that now put everything back on the open gap here as you can see is where this piece goes in you just slide that in forward drop it into place and then you can click this into place just like that this is the little button where you push to turn it off and on so yeah just click it all into place everything should sit nicely then you want to put it back into this piece so the ones that protrude a little bit further actually go on the shorter end if you look at it there's a taller and a shorter end so the pieces that stick out the furthest go into the shorter end like this and then you should be able to just push it into place perfect okay back up here we're just gonna simply let's see if I can get it plug it back in the way we took them off just like this click oh you can see it already starting to get that little afterburn again so as simply as we took it off we're gonna put it back on this is actually a lot easier so you just kind of push it into place you'll hear a click there you go click click and then this kind of locks it into place so just push these back in just like that and uh, looks like nothing ever happened now to test it Woo! heck yeah that's bright it's gonna be sick when this is all done all right that one's done and I'm gonna do the other side once again I'm not gonna film it it's the exact same process as what I just did here and I think we'll be wrapping it up and then I'll show you the whole thing all together all right guys I parked the car in the garage so I could take some footage of what it looks like in the darkness with the door open, you get a whole lot of light coverage. It's actually pretty nice. A little brighter than they used to be. Up top, same thing, you get some good light coverage. And let's walk over to the back. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Plenty of light, pretty bright. Definitely see the whole interior, no problem. Yeah, I think switching to LEDs was a great idea. One awesome thing about adding LEDs to your interior is it will not affect your car code wise so you won't have any codes pop up no problems whatsoever hey and i actually have some gas this time all right guys that was it we did them all all six of them everything went well minus that broken piece but we super glued the f out of it and i think i think it's gonna hold out because i put a ton of that stuff on there so hopefully i didn't glue it together i mean that would suck but i don't plan on getting back in there i just hope those bulbs hold out I will link everything I used in the description below, so the LED bulbs, and I'll even include the panel removing tools because they came in clutch today. Well, that's it, guys. I'm going to end the video now. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Hopefully, you liked it. Want to do the same thing. It was actually pretty easy. All right, guys. Stay tuned. I'm going to be bringing out some more videos. Keep an eye out for those. They'll be coming sometime shortly. This is George, Adventure GT, signing out.